what are you looking at? Oh, you're here for a lo-fi tutorial? Well, in today's video, I'm showing you how to get vinyl crackle in your GarageBand lo-fi projects. Let's go. The first thing you need to do is hit the Add Tracks button and create a new software instrument track. Next, in the library, you'll click on the Synthesizer menu, click on Pads, and choose the Outer Lands Synth. Next, you're going to hit Command K on your typing keyboard to bring up the musical typing feature. And this keyboard has built-in vinyl crackle, but we don't want to hear a key sound, we only want to hear the vinyl crackle. So what you're going to do is hit the octave button all the way down, and then hit the very lowest note on the keyboard itself, which is A on your typing keyboard, and it gives you only vinyl crackle. How legit is that? Then you simply record yourself playing that vinyl crackle sound for several bars. But you don't even have to play it for the full length of the song. Just play it for a few bars and then stretch out that MIDI region to go for the full length of the song. After that, hit E on your typing keyboard to bring up the edit window and then stretch out that note until it's the full length of the song. Next, we'll shape the sound of this vinyl crackle just a little bit by hitting B on our typing keyboard to bring up the mix window and then hitting EQ. We're going to use what's called the low pass filter to soften up the sound and make it sound a bit more vintage. So go ahead and turn it on and drag it down to 5K. And now let's take a listen. Oh, that's nice. Now lastly, I would recommend turning on the track lock, which you'll find by right clicking on any track header and hitting configure track header. Next, you'll click on the track lock button and then you'll actually turn on the track lock for this particular track. Then hit the space bar to lock the track in place, which means that you'll be able to hit play at any point in the song and still hear the vinyl crackle. You no longer have to go back to the beginning of the MIDI region to hear it. How cool is that? So with a few simple clicks, you now have a perfect vinyl crackle sound to add into your lo-fi beats. And that's all for this video, my lo-fi patty ones. But stay tuned as I'll have another lo-fi tutorial coming your way real soon. Thank you.